a look at another toy review. This time it is the Spider-Man 60th anniversary Marvel Legends release. Renew your vows! Based on the Secret Wars spin-off and then eventual series that was going to be ongoing and was a mini series. Point is, it's Spider-Man and Mary Jane, and they're still married. And she's a superhero called Spinnerette who like leeches her his power off of him because of the suit. It's a th comics are weird. All right, go read a comp. Go read a goddamn comic book. Point is, this is an action figure I've been looking forward to. I already have Spider-Man and I already have a Mary Jane, or in this case, a Moira McTaggart figure with a Mary Jane head swapped over. But still, it's cool to get this version of the characters, which include an updated version of the Spider-Man body sculpt. That's right, no more peg holes, baby, which sounds filthier than I meant it to. Here's all the accessories within the little bags and whatnot, but first we'll look at Spinneret, whose articulation is in the ankles, like that. You've got the little moving sock thing, so it doesn't hamper the way a foot moves. You've got articulation in the knees. You've got a rotating thigh. She moves at the crotch, don't we all? No waist swivel, but she also moves at the ribs like that. She's got a shoulder mechanism. That's a correct word. Don't know why I doubted it. She moves at the upper arm, double elbow joint, uh, it's a little stiff and she also moves at the wrist there as you can see there's also articulation in the neck with a ball joint on top of a peg that moves about and that the spinneret costume is wonderful it's essentially like a color swap version of the spider-man outfit in red and white instead of the blue and red and the detailing is great look at the webbing on the shoes look at the webbing on the anklets look at the webbing on the main body it's so brilliantly done i've seen versions of this figure that don't have it uh, or it's gone wrong, so I'm lucky with mine. She has holes in her back, which I'm not sure what they're for, but I guess it's from an earlier, earlier figure. Earlier, 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 earlier. New words, just go with it. Earlier figure mold from a different toy. I don't know which one it is, but you're not really going to be looking at her back very much, are you? There are spare hands, and there's her other spare hands. Stickers and thwippers. Sounds wrong. The sculpt of the face is fantastic and matches the art style of the miniseries perfectly. As you can see, it's a completely new sculpt from the older Mary Jane headpiece that came with the Gwen Stacy figure. Then we have the new Spider-Man body mold featuring its biggest, biggest upgrade, bendable toes. Dogs on TikTok for free. He moves at the ankle and swivels at the top of the boot. He moves at the knee, he's got a swivel in the thighs and he also moves at the crotch. Don't we all? I already said that joke. He's got the crunch at the waist and the movable ribs that go from side to side. The butterfly joint, which makes sure his arms can sway to and fro, hither and dither. Moves to the top of the shoulder, upper arm, elbow joints, and at the wristicles. I don't know why I'm narrating this. You can see it. What is the point? Just look at him. Look at this beautiful boy. It's an upgraded version of the original mold without any peg holes, which is nice. He's also got a big wider eyes, more akin to the kind of suit seen within the Renew Your Vows miniseries. And he is of a darker, richer colour. Those toes, honestly, are going to add so much to the posability of this figure. Having him crouching, wall crawling, kicking, spinning, jumping, leaping, serving looks, I don't know. I'm loving the big spiders on the front and the back. He's got a little paint chip there on his tum-tum, but I'm sure we can forgive him. You know, he's, he's a superhero. He, he balances it out with good deeds. It's fine. Overall, this is a gorgeous looking figure. And when you compare it to the version from the Spider-Man Retro line from a couple of years ago, which was a fantastic figure, this is an upgrade. When you think this can't get any better, this one is. So how's that? Take a look at that mask. I love that sculpt. Love big eyes on Spider-Man. I grew up reading Ultimate Spider-Man, so I always prefer the Mark Bagley style big eyes. It's certainly the name of a Tim Burton film. Anyway, look, little hands, thwippers and stickers. Get them right on him. And a Peter Parker head sculpt. I've never had a Peter Parker head sculpt for adult Peter Parker, so I'm super happy with this. The detail on the hair is fantastic. The tone of the skin, it just looks great on the figure and can be swapped with other Spider-Man figures as well. Overall, this two-pack is a little pricey. I got it for just over £50 with some Christmas vouchers on Amazon. Thank you very much, in-laws and other family members. I do recommend it if you want a really good Spidey. If you loved Renew Your Vows, it is a great set. Hopefully, we can get their daughter at some point. Maybe Regent, I don't know but I recommend it. If you can find it and save some pennies, snatch it up.